Where the hell am I? Oh, that's that guy. Excuse me. Do you know what I trail on over here? I'm, I'm lost. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh god. Uh, yeah. ah! Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. Make it dawn. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Say, say, say. say. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. Alright, folks. So today we are doing a little shreddy with my new Ribmo AF. This is the 2023 model. I guess they just came out with the 2024, so now this is completely irrelevant. So uh, I don't know why you're watching this video, but this comes in the dank avocado green. I wore my pants to match appropriately, and I'm here with my colleague and resident noob, Ali, uh, <laughs> last name redacted. Greetings. So believe it or not, this is actually my first 29 inch wheeled bike, and uh, She's pretty hefty, not gonna lie. Quite a departure from my common cell meta that fans of the channel will probably know and love. So, you know, it has standard affair, a dropper post, some coil suspension on the front, but an air shock on the rear. Marzocchi front and rear, which I'm still running the Marzocchi Z2 on my new hardtail. Hopefully you saw that video. We're here at Sprain Ridge in Westchester, New York to test it out on some of these rocky trails. And it is quite a different experience considering how much longer this is than my old mountain bike. Ali, as a resident noob, what did you think off of that tremendous drop? We had him give a little test drop. What were your first impressions? Well, yeah, so first and foremost, I'd like to talk uh, more about what the, the setting was like. So, you know, this, this drop was about a whopping like 1.2 feet off uh, the ground and um, Compared pretty sizable. To, pretty sizable. Compared to riding it with my uh, Santa Cruz uh, Heckler circa 2007, um, I did find this bike to have... Best um, bike before the financial crisis. Yeah, it's, it's, this bike dropped right before the uh, the major recession. So we saw a very uh, sharp decline um, in the uh, mountain biking industry, uh, very similar to the drop that I did today. <laughs> Compared to riding this bike versus my old Santa Cruz, um, it is crazy how little resistance you feel going through this drop. Um, granted this drop did also have a little bit of a lip on it. Um, throughout the entire motion it felt like you didn't even leave the ground. You didn't really have to do any work to help you know bring the front tire off. You know I'm, I'm, I'm a uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty big on nose diving you know it's, uh, it's part of my style uh, when I ride and you know the one thing I decided with this bike is that it made it a little more difficult to nose dive on a drop but of course things have been used to. But, I think the, yeah. the coil fork really lends to that supple off the top feeling like he said you land a drop and it's like nothing even happened <laughs> you know as we venture to the rear of the bike we have a shimano dior 12 speed group set very appealing looking drivetrain i must say for this more budget option and uh it works pretty well definitely like the shifter feel better than the ceram stuff you know equivalent nx and sx um the KS dropper is pretty sticky. It definitely requires a bit more lever force than what I'm used to, but um, so far so good. Something pretty crazy that I wasn't expecting is how wide these rims are from the factory. I think these are, let's see, 35 millimeter internal width, which is pretty chunky. And uh, you definitely feel that volume in the tires. Um, these came with an Asagai and a DHR2, but unfortunately, Jensen USA, you put your tires on the wrong wheels, and I haven't bothered to switch it, but not gonna lie, the bike came very fast, built very well from the factory. It was super easy to get it out of the box from Jensen, and I definitely used Jeff Kendall Weed, you know, affiliate link to support him because I was watching a bunch of his videos, and I just love how he rides and he's always rocking the Ripmo. So uh, maybe it'll make me go crazy. Something interesting, I guess, is that Ibis uses the 31.8 millimeter handlebars still, which, I mean, you can really hardly tell the difference. An aluminum bar is an aluminum bar. 
Maybe it does provide a little bit more deflection, which is nice. This is my first time on Shimano disc brakes. Even though just like two videos ago, I said I would never ride Shimano brakes or something like that. Figured I wanted the Shimano drivetrain, so I'll suck it up and try the Shimano brakes. And these are pretty entry level stuff, but they do have the nice lever shape and four pistons. So it's pretty good. It doesn't have quite the stopping power or like bite that I was thinking they would have. Mm -hmm. You know, Ali can can discuss that further. Yeah, so, um, you know, as I was going off of this uh, drop, you know, I felt that um, with the landing, I was not getting the type of uh, feedback from the braking system that I, I wanted during a landing. Typically, I like to slam right on the front brakes, but it just wouldn't do that, and, you know, I ended up just gliding right through the uh, loam. I do agree with Evan when I say that the brakes could use maybe a little bit more tuning. Uh, are these uh, wireless brakes? Yes, yes, they have uh, 5G, 5G brakes. Cordless. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, maybe I just add a little bit more brake fluid in there and pump her up and see how that goes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> how fast does it go? Uh, 27 knots. Rip mo or rip slow? Uh, rip slow. Rip slow. Um, what's the rubber made of? Uh, albuterol. Albuterol, okay. How many uh, liters of brake fluid are running? Um, one milliliter. What's the travel? 160, 147. PSI and tires? 22. How about your dropper? Uh, none. I have no more questions. Oh yeah, so like I said, I use Jeff Kendallweed's affiliate link so he gets some kickback from this purchase and you know, went to Jensen USA, chose my size, this is a size large, I'm 5'11", and uh, got it sent to my door, bought the pedals, some one-up aluminum pedals to go with it, and uh, funnily enough, the pedals came first and the bike came a couple days later came in a big box like I said put together very well for the most part apart from the tires being on the wrong wheels um, and really you were ready to rip in minutes it does have some nice chain state protection as you can see it's got the DW link and so far I do feel like it does climb well very good traction however the the heaviness of these tires definitely having an assegai on the rear is something to get used to and for the pedalier trails around Long Island, Westchester, whatnot, definitely doesn't feel super great. So I feel like eventually I would switch out these tires for something a little bit lighter duty. It came tubeless ready, tubeless already in it um, from the box. So that was pretty nice. I don't really know how I feel about this color. I just wanted to make sure I got this component package because the black one was coming with the SRAM stuff and I'm kind of over that boat. So uh, the green is kind of growing on me. Got to change my whole wardrobe now because nothing nothing matches. And that means I'm feeling slower than ever. Can you talk to me more about the, uh, the wheelbase? Oh yeah, the wheelbase is quite lengthy. Definitely the girthiest wheelbase I've ever experienced. Can you fit different uh, thickness tires into this? Or like if I wanted to run, run some uh, gravel treads? Uh... Yeah, you could definitely turn this into a gravel bike. Lock out the suspension, 40 seat tires on here, no problem. Actually, I mean, yeah, it'd be garbage, but you could but do you it. you can do it. <laughs> you know, I would say this is a one bike, one bike quiver killer. This could do crit racing, triathlons, um, you know. Quiver killer? <laughs> yeah. um, you can know. you say that? <laughs> yeah, quiver? Yeah. yeah. Like quiver is like a quiver of arrows. Oh, like okay. a group. I was thinking about a different quiver. I don't know. <laughs> this is a wink. No. <laughs> so going forward, I am definitely excited to take this to bike parks this season. Um, hoping to go to Mountain Creek with it. Because not going to lie, when I went to Mountain Creek last time in October, that was some sketchy stuff. Like my last bike just felt so off and all those ruts and breaking bumps. This thing is going to be like butter. And uh, you have a total weight on this thing? Oh yeah, the weight on this is probably close to 35 pounds if I'm guessing, maybe 36. 100% heavier than my last bike. Overall, pretty excited to get on this bike. And I said in my Radical Grim Ripper build video that found this for 25% off around Christmas time. So I paid 2,900 shipped to my door and it was originally 3,600. So 
pretty good value honestly so that's why i kind of bit the bullet and decided to buy this already i thought i'd wait until the summer when the season really starts up but i've been eyeing up the rip moea for a long time and decided i should try it out so you're going to see a lot more of it in the future videos and uh maybe we'll get ali on it he's a little scared of taming this puppy but uh i think that's all for this one hopefully you enjoyed watching and remember folks Stay venturing. Stay venture. Nice and easy. Oh. <laughs> that got way too sus.